Hello! This is going to be a different video. I will try to show you uh, how to improve the graphics in Indef Unchained and in any games you play. Uh, but uh, I, wanted, I wanted to introduce this app to you because I talked to the developer of the app and he actually tested and provided us uh, high definition uh, settings for this app, for the quest that are tested for FPS drops so you can happily use this app and the profile he created without being worried that you turn up the settings too much and it will mess up your game. So currently this is how in the fun chain looks like without any uh, graphic improvements. I have no idea will it be will the difference be visible on the video because I noticed that uh, it's a little bit different on the recordings than in in the gameplay when you play. So this is default settings and what I can see definitely because I just dropped down from the higher resolution is that <laughs> everything is blurry like the font is blurry all this entire uh, how, how do you call it this menu is blurry the crossbow in itself is blurry and while we have very pretty graphics in Indef Unchained there's nothing wrong in doing it better so instead of talking I will try to show you this app works so Indef Unchained right now I'm just, just to reapply the settings so I'm not going to tell you how to install the app because on their website there is plenty of, in of information how to install it. Uh, it's a one-time thing. Once you install the app, you go to unknown sources on your list. Pick quest user. This is how it looks like. And once you open it, you will have all the apps. I have marked Indef Unchained as my favorite. I'm also using uh, using the app in Oculus Home because apparently this is also the app so you can change the settings of it. So here are all the games I play and here is Indef Unchained. So I just click it once and here we have the settings that we are able to change. And for the starters, if you don't feel like testing it out and setting it all by yourself, you can just pick HD resolution, which is right in the middle here. This is the tested profile, official one. The developer was so kind to prepare and take his time to prepare the profile just for us, for our community. Uh, so once you click this, you can see all the settings right here have changed. We ramped up the resolution from 1440 to 1850, and the other one changed as well. And uh, I can assure you that this works. I have actually played also on the settings like 1950, that's what I tested. On these settings, and I have not seen any frame rate drops, so that's what I'm going to show you right now. But if you don't feel like changing it by yourself, just pick this button right here. You have 1850, and I will show you how it look like in a moment. So once you have it set up, you can just go to Infant here. And if you the permissions to the app, you will have the notification pop up. And the quest optimizer works the way works this way so it changes the settings of the quest only for the game you launch. So the settings are applied once you launch the application. 
So indef is loading right now. It's loading a little bit slower because I'm recording, I guess. Normally it doesn't take that much long, that much time. Uh, I can guarantee you it's not because of the app that we're using, because this is like the first time uh, it takes so long. But it's loading right now. And it, it already works. Like the settings are changed. You can act, you can already see the difference in the font. I'm not sure still I'm not sure if it's going to be visible on the recording. But obviously everything is much higher resolution. So it still works flawlessly. Like the numbers, the fonts. You can even go and play and just compare. It's not about showing you. You can go and see yourself. I just wanted to show you how it works. So the way it works, you can actually set different settings for different games. Uh, I'm on the recording. If I turn off the game right now. fact that one thing for infant chain set we you don't even need to access the app anymore unless you want to change the settings because once you give give the app permissions this is quick access i can just go and launch in the function and the notification just popped up Showing me that it reapplied the settings, so it reapplies the settings every time you want, uh, you launch the application, without your ingeration in the app. It just works in the background. So this is like the I think this is like very very comfortable that you can change it up uh, because you don't you don't really need to worry about it. You set it once and you forget it. The only downside is is that you to make it work every single time you cannot turn off your quest uh, you can you can just uh, put it in standby mode by pressing uh, power button once but if you turn it off completely uh, then you will need to re-enable adb settings on the quest so uh, well, there's really no need to turn off your quest completely unless you want to restart it. But just keep in mind that if you do, you'll need to reapply ADB settings to just once to, to make the app work again. So I hope you'll be happy about the app and I hope that you will like the improvements it makes. So, oh. mm. if you record, uh, also the next day, you will be able to change. Uh, the game itself settings you will be able to click this one and here the, these are video, video capture presets there are quite a few but all of these are not square these are HD ready and uh, Full, uh, and full HD as you can see but uh, I asked about so you'll be pick once and it will change the record settings as, as well I'm not going to pick it now because I have it set perfectly for uh, my 
YouTube videos. So I'm looking forward to uh, for them to, to also put them. I need to talk to them because the last time much less settings something viable. So the so oh. Uh, I think I need to and yeah. I'm not sure how to go through the video when I'm in the main menu. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, 